Hi, um, I wanted to take the opportunity to share my love of Cornish yarn with you. We are so blessed here in Cornwall that we have sort of a wealth of creative people who either produce their own yarn or um, are dyers of yarn. We really do try and support local businesses as much as we can. So we work in collaboration with a number of indie dyers and a number of sort of local yarn producers. And I just really wanted to chat through yarn and get across why I love the yarns that we have down here so much. As you probably know, I'm sort of absolutely committed to only having natural fibres in the shop at any one time. We don't have, apart from a little bit of nylon in the sock yarns, we don't have any acrylic or nylon yarns at all and we don't have any of the large brands. We don't go for the multinational brands. We want to support small local businesses like ourselves who invest their time and their passion in creating something beautiful and we are really blessed here in Cornwall that we can do that. So I just wanted to talk through some of the yarns as you can see I've got a lovely basket of yarns here um, and these are all Cornish either Cornish yarns or dyed here in Cornwall um, and probably one of the biggest producers that most of you will have heard of is Blacker Yarns. Um, so Blacker Yarns are based up in Launceston in Cornwall their mill um, they're also the natural fibre company and they mill lots of different sort of British breeds. People send their fleeces over to Blacker Yarns to be milled. But they also have their own uh, brand of yarns, which we are very fortunate to stock. So every year they bring out some limited edition yarns. This one is Cove, uh, which we've had, which is 100% wool. So Blacker Yarns, as I said, are based here in Cornwall. We do have the Cove, which is one of their birthday special yarns. We've got it in chunky and we've also got it in a four ply way which i think is sort of quite a robust sort of way it's quite a dense yarn it's it would be great for sort of shawls blankets blacker yarns cove comes in all the sort of colors that you'd associate with the cornish coastline the blues of the sea the sort of gorse that's on the sort of coastline and on the cliffs as you walk across. It's also got the sort of traditional stone and, and beach colours too. So we've got all six colours in the range and they've been hugely popular. Really great for blankets, for homeware and the chunky yarn would be really great for a really nice shawl. Blacker have got some great patterns on their website which you could, you could have a look at. Also from Blacker we've got the Jacobs yarn which is 100% Jacobs wool which is a beautiful yarn. We've got this in a double knit and we've also got it in a four ply they come in these stunning again sort of muted tones they've also got the natural jacobs in granite and marl which complement these colors and these are sort of represent the moorlands and again the coastlines of cornwall so they do tend to to actually recreate the sort of local colors and be inspired by the local colors that are around us and this this yarn is beautiful it's a sort of proper woolly yarn if you know what i mean so um, you can feel the wool in it um, make a great weatherproof jumper um, i want to to have a go at knitting a little bit of fair isle with it with one of the more natural colors in it so uh, they're a great yarn another sort of yarn that that, that we have of theirs um, which is the guernsey yarn um, blacker produce a this is a five ply and we've got it in a range of colors we've got it in the naturals the traditional guernsey blues different shades of blues grays and a burgundy and anybody that knows anything about Guernsey or Gansey jumpers, they're traditionally sort of created around the coastlines, particularly around Cornwall. And each uh, village or, or coastal town would have their own particular Guernsey pattern, which is peculiar to that town. And the idea being that, that people would be identified from their village by the pattern that, of their jumper. Uh, they're quite complex. You knit them on really tiny needles. So they are sort of a quite dedicated knit, but beautiful when they're done, completely weatherproof. And these yarns are stunning. Um, so we have these in the shop. But um, these are my particular favourite. I've knitted some sort of gloves and things with this yarn and, and really love it. Uh, we've also been knitting up some Cornish mackerel, which I think you'll agree they make great. They make great Cornish traditional fish. We're knitting up a load of these to actually pop in our window at some point. So some of the other yarns that we've got, um, a, a really truly Cornish yarn is one from a farm which is based up in Bodmin a few miles from us here and it's called Rosa Farm Yarn and uh, Jane who owns Rosa Farm Yarns she has her own Romney sheep 
And so this yarn is actually produced from her own flock of sheep up on the farm in Bodmin. She has it spun. I don't think she spun, spins it herself, but she does have it spun locally. And then um, she uses natural dyes from the local Cornish countryside to actually dye up um, these yarns. And it's quite a robust yarn. Um, it's, it's a double knit weight, but it's sort of a heavy double knit weight. Again, quite a because of the nature of Romney sheep and their fleece, it's quite a robust wool, so it's really great for hats. In fact, we've got one of her hat kits here. Um, so it's a really great sort of sturdy yarn that will keep out all weathers, uh, as you would expect the sheep up on the moors in Bodmin to do. This has been a hugely popular yarn uh, for most of our customers. They come back again and again to have it. And we're really proud of the fact that it's a proper Cornish yarn, sort of bred here and spun here and actually dyed from our local produce. We also have been working with some indie dyers and we've got a range of indie dyers. I just wanted to mention a couple. Kerno Designs. This is Karen. She's based a little bit away from us in Cornwall but we met Karen and she talked to us about some of the yarns that she had been sort of dyeing up and these are sort of merino and silk and quite luxury yarns but again all natural products so n no sort of um, synthetics or anything used in her yarns. But these are dyed, and this one here in particular, she's specifically dyed for us at Stitches and Cream. And this is a posh sock base, so it's sort of 60% merino, 40% silk. So beautiful for not just socks, I have to say, but also would be great in terms of um, a nice shawl or a cow. So it's really soft against the neck. But she also does other sorts of colourways, and we we are sort of we're waiting for a spring collection to come in. But she's a real whiz with colour. She creates some beautiful colours together, and. Um, also started working with um, a lady called Hannah who works who has a company called the Camel's Yarn based up on the Camel Estuary. She takes all her inspiration for colours from the surrounding countryside again. Cornwall we're so lucky that we've got the beautiful coastline but we've also got moorland and we have stunning Cornish flowers and scenery here that we can really get inspiration for for, for the creative people in our midst. So she's produced a, a range of colours which are available throughout the shop but she also worked with us to produce two designer yarns for our shop only. You can only get them through Stitches and Cream and this one here is the Falmouth Bay yarn which I hope you'll agree is a stunning colourway and it reflects the sea off of the coast of Gillinvays Beach in Falmouth. She took inspiration from a picture that I sent her and this is the colour of the sea in the summer. Um, if you're fortunate enough to come visit us you'll, you'll appreciate how beautiful our scenery is. And this one here is called the Gilly Foreshore and this is just above the sea. This was taken from inspiration from the beach which is this lovely sandy colour here. Uh, the green of the hills as they rise up uh, above the beach and also the pink flowers that are on that sort of hill cliff and a cliff top as you walk along as well so two beautiful colorways and we're really delighted to be working with Hannah again another local dyer so that's just some of our Cornish yarns um, that we have here in the shop uh, we are looking to work with a couple of local fleece suppliers and develop our own brand of yarn too in the near future so watch this space because uh, we are thinking of actually launching our own brand to um, to try and try and sort of build on our sort of stock of Cornish yarn. So thank you everybody. Mm -hmm.